Hello, my friends. Today is November 30. Our topic is Forgotten Blessings. My friends, people are seeking God's blessings and His mercy in many ways. You may be thinking, by going to church, you will have blessings of God. By loving others, you will receive the love and mercy of the Lord. Yes, that's right. But however, there is one more marvelous blessing that God is waiting to bestow upon all of us, which is nowadays forgotten. This blessing has been forgotten. This blessing will ensure the presence of God. This blessing will affirm the authority of the Lord in your life. Let's read Zechariah chapter 8, verse 21 and 22. The inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us continue to go and pray before the Lord and seek the Lord of hosts. I myself will go also. Yes, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. God is giving you the easiest way to get the presence of God in your life. It is not only your blessings for your life, but for others also to be blessed. Evangelism and soul winning is the most significant way to receive the blessings of the Lord. Evangelism and soul winning that God asked his disciples and you and me so that we will be blessed and benefited. There are three vital blessings in soul winning. Number one, you will discover you are blessed more than many. When you meet people in the community for prayer and share the love and sacrifice of Jesus, you will come to know how God has blessed you, how God has enriched you in many ways. You might be thinking that nobody cared for you, but you can see how many desperate and depressed people are in the streets like an orphan. Number two, you will discover your name is written in the book of life. When you do soul winning, when you look for some people to bring to the cross, you will find out and you will discover that your name is written in the book of life. Although everyone's name is expected to be in the book of life, the soul winner's name will certainly be there. The more you meet the lost, the more you seek and save the people who are destitute in spiritual life, your name will be stronger in the mind of the Lord. Number three, you will discover God's presence always next to you. The Gospel Commission says, And God has promised you that I will be with you always. Don't feel lonely henceforth. Whenever you feel lonely, just meet people where they are so that God will come to you where you are. My friends, gain your life by gaining others' life. Win your life by winning other lives. Here is the prophecy from Zechariah chapter 8, verse 23. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days, ten men, from every language of the nations, shall grasp the sleeve of a Jewish man, saying, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Let's pray. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for the marvelous blessings which has been forgotten. Please, dear Lord, we need that forgotten blessings. Help us to be a soul winner, Help us to commit ourselves winning the destitute for Christ so that it is not only we, but even others will be blessed. Thank you so much for this wonderful gospel commission. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. God bless you.